Way to go. Mix, baby, mix. Oh, yeah. That's looking good. That's looking really good. Angel food cake. Got all my special pan. Probably can't hear anything I'm saying. Yum, yum, yum. Perfect. So we're in my living room now. And my husband helped me bring up my spring bins. These are the bins that I store all of our spring decorations in. Um, and I'm just going to, uh, you know, decorate a little bit today. I might not put all of my Easter stuff out yet because it's still March and I usually wait until April when Easter is asleep. But because I'm having the party, I'm going to put some things out and then we'll bring all the bins back down to the basement. Some of this will be out here. But I did already go ahead. He helped me um, put the leaves in this table and also the table in our, um, you know, breakfast area. <laughs> uh, and I put the table pads on and then I'm going to put out the um, tablecloth and make sure it doesn't need ironing. Hopefully it doesn't. These are great because these are like microfiber ones that I got at Bed Bath & Beyond. And I have them in different colors for different holidays. And they don't really need a lot of ironing. Maybe once in a while I'll just... And I'll even like throw the iron over it just really gently over these table pads. Which are thick and reinforced and I've never had a problem. So that's that. And here's Winnie. There's Winnie. Hi. Hi baby. Are you ready for the party tomorrow? Hmm? Are you ready for the party tomorrow? Hi. Oh, mommy, you love me, mommy. Oh. She doesn't like it when I'm preparing for a party because I pay absolutely no attention to her. Life is so hard. You're so fluffy. Very fluffy today. Day after a bath, fluffiest day of the week. Say hi, you two. You're so cute. So I did keep this party in mind when I was shopping, obviously, um, yesterday. And I bought, you know, chips and crackers and pretzels and, and little snacks and such. And I just kept them out in my little kitchen basket, along with some extra bags to send people home with food. Um, so they can, like, put their containers and baggies and stuff in a big bag. And I'm just going to keep that in here. And then, you know, either today or t early tomorrow morning, I'll put those things next to the containers I want them to go in. And I've kind of, like, put everything out on my kitchen table. But I'll show you guys that when I do that. I don't know if some of you guys have watched my fridge tour, but that was my fridge on a regular basis. And this is my fridge one day before a party. So you can see it's a lot more full, and I've kind of rearranged my usual place where I keep my food to be either relegated to the top or the bottom so I could um, fit everything in. But I have on this shelf a lot of things prepared already. Um, I was smart and bought a prepared fruit salad. I have all my veggies prepared for my veggie tray. And then I have my cheese prepared. And the hummus I'm going to put on my veggie tray. So that's all ready to go. And then I did buy pre-made um, guacamole and salsas. Normally I would make guacamole, probably not the salsa. But, um, you know, save time since this is sort of a last minute large thing. And then I did buy... Uh, my two little nieces like grapes, so I usually wouldn't buy grapes already done, but it's just so much easier that way, and then we don't have to worry about stems and things like that. So, that's my fridge on party, uh, day before party day, and I'll show you what it looks like on party day when I have things set uh, a couple of hours before my party. I do my trace, but I'll show you that tomorrow. So I'm multitasking, filming while making Rice Krispie Treats while my angel food cake cooks. Just put in my jet puffed marshmallows, very important to my melted butter. And now we need to stir it. I can't leave the stove really very long during this process, so I figured I'd talk now. It was time of any, as any. But um, that's the thing with um, being organized with your time. Multitasking is kind of important. And I don't mean like doing five things at once, I mean using the time in between. Like, oop, sorry, hold on. It just means I have to check my cake. And, oh, it's rising nicely, so that's good. I'm going to put this in 435. No, no, no. 
about Jennifer? 15. Let's do, yeah, 15. Okay. Anyway, as I was saying, <laughs> sorry about that. You know, I didn't attempt to make the Rice Krispie Treats at the same time as the, I was making the cake. Um, when I was making the cake, I was focused on making the cake. And I've done that before, trying to make two things at once. It's really hard, and sometimes you, like, forget a, a step in the recipe, or, you know, something can go wrong because you're flustered. So this kind of doing things this way, I'm short on time, yes, but I can still make a whole bunch of things and still concentrate on one thing at a time. So, like I said, I started out with my cake batter, making that, my angel food cake batter. And then, as soon as I put that in the oven, I cleaned up everything from that process of the baking process. So all the stuff I'd use is clean and now it's drying in the dish rack. And I had already had all the ingredients out for my Rice Krispie Treats because when I prepped for my cake, I prepped for the Rice Krispie Treats at the same time. It's, it's like three ingredients. It's not that complicated. It's butter, marshmallows, and Rice Krispies, the cereal. Um, so all I had to do really was get the butter melting. And while the butter was melting in the pot, I, um, you know, I sprayed my pan for the Rice Krispie Treats. So it's sprayed and ready to go. And I sprayed my spatula because it's sticky marshmallows. And I measured out my um, Krispies. I like them half cocoa, half regular, and kind of mix it together so it's blended. You'll see them when they're done. Yep. But um, this way, and I'm going to finish this process probably before my cake even comes out. I might, well, we'll see. Um, but the Rice Krispie Treats, they can sit for a second, it's not the end of the world, whereas the cake, you know, needed my full attention when I was, make, when I was um, constructing it. So, hopefully these will melt very quickly, and I can pour in my Krispies and then pour this out. This is like the quickest dessert ever. I highly recommend it if you're short on time, and if you have kids coming who might be picky, um, like I said before. So, that's my multitasking, but not really multitask. Well, it is multitasking, but not like doing two things at the same time. It's doing things, you know, so you use your time the most efficiently. Um, and that's my tip for staying organized anytime, really, but especially in a time crunch. Um, so there you go. Just wanted to show you guys how I'm preparing for tomorrow because our brunch is at noon. And I wanted to bake my um, cupcakes fresh. I have a lot of other things to do in the morning too to prepare for the party. So normally I wouldn't leave all this stuff out on my counter. But, you know, nobody's coming over to our house tonight. So it's okay. And I basically have gotten out all the ingredients that aren't refrigerated, of course, for the cupcakes and the icing and all the tools I need. I went through the recipe, I've made these before, but I went through both recipes and just made sure I was familiar with the recipes. I have everything out and clean and ready to go. So it's right here and I don't have to spend time looking for stuff in the morning. Um, and then over here my angel food cake came out and I was able to finish my Rice Krispie Treats before it came out of the oven. So they're both cooling here. It's kind of funny, it looks like a little spaceship or something. And I think I'm gonna cut my Rice Krispie Treats into little bunny head shapes. So that'll be fun, we'll see if that works. I'm not sure that those um, cookie cutters are tall enough, but I'll show you if it works, because it'll be cute. So that's my being prepared for tomorrow technique. If you don't mind having stuff out in your kitchen and you know you're gonna have kind of a crunch in the morning, a time crunch, then, you know, it's all right. You're the only one seeing it. And you know my husband is not going to judge me for it, so there you have it. Winnie does not like it when I throw a party because I'm so busy that I have very little time to pay attention to her. And she's just been pouting and sitting by me and just looking at me every once in a while and saying, Mommy, don't you love me? Winnie, guess what? Guess what, Winnie? Mommy has some time now. I'm going to go out for a walk. Winnie, you want to go for a walk? Do you want to go for a walk outside? It's a beautiful day. We can't be inside all day. Let's go for a walk. <laughs> She's like, I don't believe you, Mommy. I mean it. Let's go. Come on. I'm up bright and early making my brown sugar pound cake cupcakes. And I went today. And 
then after I bake those, I'll make the Bailey Shires cream frosting. Everything's all set and ready to go. So I got all my cupcakes, papers, <laughs> it's early, I'm sorry, filled and ready to go. Um, I used all the batter, which is good. It all fit perfectly, and I used my um, half cup scoop, so they're all approximately the same. Uh, and see, that keeps it just real neat and stuff, so that's a good tip. Use a scoop. So here's another quick tip. I don't know if all Trader Joe's in the country sell these, but um, these Atlantic Harvest smoked salmon, um, 16 ounces of salmon in a package, square package, and they come on these little gold rounds, so you don't even have to do anything to plate them. It's just it's so easy, so that makes plating them up for serving so much easier. So that's a good tip for Trader Joe's fans out there. I'm going to show you my refrigerator. Bleh. My refrigerator on the day of the party. Um, I'm sorry, it's as far back as I can get. You can see it got even more full. And as I mentioned in my fridge tour video, I put a lot of our non-party items in this drawer. This drawer holds so much. So that kind of keeps the rest of the space available. And what I've done it's an hour before the party, but I did this a couple hours ago. I plated my veggie tray. I plated my cheese tray. I covered them in saran wrap. I have my salad accompaniments that need to be refrigerated ready to go. I have cut up lemons and limes ready to go. I have my smoked salmon platters plated ready to go. Fruit platter ready to go. Um, my smoked salmon onion and capers and lemon all plated ready to go. And then, um, you know, the other things I'm just going to in the dishes right before I serve them. So everything's ready to go and the fridge is full and um, just waiting for the guests to arrive. So it's uh, about 20 minutes till my party. My party starts at 12, the brunch I mean. And I just want to show you that I'm all ready now. I just have to get out the food for appetizers that's cold but I'm going to wait until about 5 to 12 to do that, 10 to 12, because it's just all ready to go. I just need to take it out of the fridge. But I have my um, oven preheated for the quiche. I have the quiche out here coming up to room temperature. And I've cleaned up my kitchen. Um, I have extra bagels ready for cutting in the corner. And in here are my washed tomatoes for my salad. And then I've pretty much set up the buffet, minus all the food, of course, because I'm not going to put out the food until about 1230. Um, so I have, you know, my to-do list notebook. Those are little uh, tumblers for the, my nieces. Um, these are going to be what I put the guacamole and salsa in. But I have set up my hot plate, plate warmer. I can never remember what this thing is called. Um, and I have labels for the quiche so people know what they are. And my salad bowl is ready for the salad. I'm going to put the cream cheeses on there and the other accessories on there. And I'm going to put the salmons out in the blank spot. And then I have my bagels cut and ready to go. And my utensils and um, napkins. And then, over here, you can see I've already laid out my dessert. I like to have dessert out for the whole party. I like to kind of show it off. But there's my cupcakes. They came out so good. I had one. They're delicious. And these are little um, Rice Krispie treats that I'm going to leave in for a little longer in this bag, but I've cut them out the shape of bunny heads. Um, and then my coffee table has some of the things on it. Obviously not all of the appetizers are out, but all of the things that need to be out right now or could be out. So the cheese needs to come up to room temperature, so that's out now. I got that out about 10 minutes ago. And um, I have like the chips and the pretzels and the crackers out because those are fine. And my table is set and ready to go. Sort of an open, casual thing so people can sit wherever they want. They can sit at this table or... Oh, and I'll just show you on the way. I always do this. I put extra rubbish and recycle bins out with signs so people know. I do it every party. Um, there's Winnie. She's ready for the party in her cute bow. Say, I'm ready. And then, come into my living room and this table also set. I just have to light my little candles which I will do after I finish filming 
and I opened up our bar, which is usually closed. And you know, I don't know if people are going to want to drink or not, but I just like to leave the option. I always have a big pitcher of water, a big thing of ice, lots of cups, and then there's wine and beer in the fridge, and if they want anything else, they're welcome to it. And that's basically it. So my party's about to start. I just wanted to wrap up. Um, you know, I showed you basically everything that I do. And usually I like to have, you know, 20, 30 minutes buffer at the end where I'm not running around doing something. So I still have a couple things to do, but it's I'm relaxed. It's not a rush, and I even have time to film, and that's like a big thing for me. I've been having parties like these for about six years now, and I've come a long way. You know, I know I've mentioned before, you, to you guys that I suffer from anxiety. Well, this is sort of like an anxiety producing situation anyway, so for a person who's already anxious, it can be like very anxious. And I used to get so worked up over my parties, and I still get that little like rush of adrenaline, but I'm not panicked anymore. And that over the years, I've kind of fine tuned my method um, of how I set up for parties and how I prepare. And this one's, you know, it was pretty relaxed. It's pretty last minute kind of throwing things together, but. It worked out fine. I did get up really early this morning. I woke up at 5. Normally I would have woken up at 6 or 7 if I wasn't baking. Um, but I did want to bake fresh today and I did want to leave time, half an hour to groom my dog and 30 to 40 minutes to take her out. And luckily I did take her out for a 40 minute walk this morning because it's pouring now. I'm looking right outside. It's coming down. So probably wouldn't be able to get in a second walk today. So I'm glad I took her out for a little bit longer this morning. And, you know, I'm dressed, I'm ready, I just have to light candles and put out the rest of the snacks and then the people will be here and we'll have a good time. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm, I apologize if it's a little kind of scattered because it was sort of a last minute idea. But uh, if this is interesting, I can do one, like I said before, I do a lot of, we host a lot of barbecues in the summer, at least two big ones. Um, so I could... And that one we cook for, and both me and my husband, we kind of collaborate. So I could do a more structured video on that if I have time to like think about it and prepare for it. If this is interesting to you, party planning, organization tips. Hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for new videos soon. Bye.